What's up, guys? Yes, I'm back, and I'm doing more awesome stuff. What is up, guys? This is Poninja Machine here, and I'm bringing you some solo zombies on Ascension. You know, I like Ascension. It's awesome, you know? It's like the best. It's actually one of the easiest maps ever. Hold on, I'm just going to take a quick drink of water. Ah, nothing like water in the morning, except it's 8.45 at night. Yep. Wow, man, what a busy day. Actually, it wasn't really busy. I didn't really do much, so... Yeah, that's why I'm making this video, because I had a lot of time today. But anyways, I'm sure you guys are wondering why I ponage more zombies, because... Yeah. Anyways, I, I don't I don't play multiplayer anymore. It's just boring, but I wanted to show you guys here. I know Modern Warfare 3 is coming around the corner. Everybody's like, oh, do your countdown, do your countdown. Actually, no, nobody said that yet, so... Feel free to say that, you know. Make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. But yeah, I've got, I just got my first nuke, so that video probably will be up tomorrow. I'm not, since I'm doing this now, I figure since I got tennis tomorrow, a match actually. So I think I'll just, um, I'll try to do the commentary tomorrow on it, and that'll be my video for tomorrow. But yeah, for right now, I don't have a huge big deal of stuff. I mean, Ranger playoffs probably are going to start Friday. And since they're, well, I don't know. It's a 1-1 one -one game right now. Holy shit, I'm going to go down on the first round. You now embarrassing that is I've actually done that before, go down on the first round. Oh, I just missed, like, all those shots. But, yeah, so Rangers baseball playoffs start tomorrow, which is awesome. Actually, why did I say tomorrow? No, they start either Friday or Tuesday. Monday, actually. Which would suck. I couldn't stand having all those afternoon games or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, so I'm really hoping that they um that they <laughs> win tonight. So that way they start on Friday because I never like for my homecoming thing. I I didn't really want want to ask anybody else, so I just kind of like let it go by and never did anything about it, which kind of got me yelled at by somebody, but. That's besides the point. So, um, I'm kind of hoping that they're playing on Saturday, so I have an excuse as to why I'm not going to it. Because if I just say, oh, I'm not going because I didn't want to. And, gotta knife you before the thing takes out your face. I hate this thing. This thing's really annoying, but it actually can be kind of helpful. God, I hate how they hit you so easily. Perfect. Which is what I was looking for. Now, where's the last guy? I'm gonna pour another clip in his leg. Or not. But yeah, I'm just I'm just hoping that I kind of have a good excuse as why I'm not going. Or else it'll be kind of weird. But yeah, I mean, so, enough about me. I'll just, I'll talk about the game now. I am going to show you my tips and how I play Ascension. I think Ascension's... A really fun map to play. It's really entertaining. Last night I did this on solo. Stayed up way too late playing it. Like, stayed up like an hour later than I should have, really. But I got the round 22, and then I just kind of quit because I knew I had to go to bed. So, um, I'm going to show you guys what I do. You notice I only round 3 I left. This is a new strategy thing that I started trying last night. And to me, it worked really well. I got really far using it, so I think I'll try it again. It's pretty successful. I mean, if something's successful, why not use, do it again? That's what she said. Huh? 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 No? Oh, okay, I guess I'm the only one that's awkward here. But yeah, it's only like a couple shots, so you don't want to waste a lot of your ammo doing this when you use the MP5. Ain't always aim for the head, you know, rack up a lot of points. Sniper! Headshot. Headshot. That's right. That's a grizz for zombie skills right there. Man, but yeah, so, you know, I always come out here, just buy the MP5 real quick. Um, I don't, I probably won't hang on to my pistol. You know, some people hang on their pistols so they can pack a punch them. Honestly, I don't like Mustang and Sally too much. I think they're kind of annoying. That's just my opinion, though. Know, everybody has their own opinion. So, I, the best spot, you know, that a lot of strategies people do. I'm like, ooh, run circles around Flopper here, which is what I'm going to do once I get to that point. So, 
that the early rounds you really you gotta rack up points fast like conserving ammo but you gotta rack up oh shoot holy crap that scared me see I'm not gonna get this nuke because it's really not worth it because I'll rack up more than 400 points just by killing the zombies so you're better off trying doing that I mean see that's already more than 400 right there you're better off doing that and getting the most points you can than getting a nuke just to get through the early rounds early rounds are definitely the rounds you want to get points on because you need to set yourself up for for you know farther along and double points best drop you can get right now I mean minus max ammo obviously max ammo is the best let's just pick up some more ammo here so yeah just make sure you rack up plenty of points and just you know run circles here um, playing solo, I'd make sure you buy quicker buy first, and I'm after I'm gonna go to the box first, and then I'll show you guys what I do when I get Juggernaut. Never just like if you're like on this map when you go through that door there, and there's the op like you can go down the staircase which takes you to Juggernaut. Um, I hi I don't suggest taking that way. First off, because I think the door costs 500 more points. I mean a lot of extra points especially at the earlier rounds to be wasting on that and second off if you have when you get quick arrive all right let's get this this is when you just go on a knifing spree oh shoot I hate it when they do that oh my god I'm gonna get down by these guys no you see that's when you just go on a rampage you say screw you Let's hit somebody with a grenade. <laughs> All right, let's see. Probably I'm gonna get Carl here, but what you want to do is you don't want to, you know, you don't want to open that door because then you gotta watch. You can't protect uh, quick revive, so you're not gonna get your free perk and stuff. Whoa! Thought I made you a crawler, buddy. Yeah, I guess not. I gotta make this guy a crawler. There we go. God dang it! I hate these freaking Chuck Norris zombies. There we go. So, I don't think I'll, unless I get a couple of good guns really fast, then I probably won't um, get Juggernaut right away. I'm going to show you, I, I'm going to hang on my MP5. That's a pretty good strategy. It racks up a ton of points right away. Let's get the power on. Let's get some color on the screen, man. I bought a color TV for a reason. I don't want to play zombies in the dark. Oh, there we go. Alright, maybe, maybe get something worth trading in my my um, mp5 nope that's not it so let's go down here I guess if I can I don't know I'll say I have to get like 200 points or something I think all the windows are boarded up no they aren't I mean I can knife the crawler but then that wouldn't be helpful so I'll just wait till next round show you guys how the what I do all right, let's get the lander over here. Actually, it might be crawler or not crawlers. Might be crawlers. Might be zombies. Oh, 69 kills. Huh? 69. 69. Favorite number. Yep. Because I do it all day, all night, and then everything turns blue, which is kind of weird. But yeah, just go with it, guys. So, just this is the best spot, especially when you open up Juggernaut. These guys die pretty fast in the early rounds. There's only like four of them usually. Just you gotta make sure, like, you know, they don't touch the perk machines, you get a free perk. So make sure you watch both balconies, because if you don't watch both, and sometimes a couple of them will sneak down that one and hit quick revive once or twice, and you won't get your free perk. And that's very, very important to get your free perk, trust me on that one. The only downside is once you get, like, to the um, point where you like open all the landers and are packet punching and stuff. And the only downside is then you'll start losing perks and you won't be able to get keep them all. Let's get my free perk, yes sir. Let's see free perk? Oh, slide of hand. All right, I'll show you guys what I'll do. Grab Juggernaut really fast. This is just my strategy. See, by doing the strategy now, it allows me to when I camp in this spot here. I'll be able to guard Juggernaut and Quick Revive, so it's it's essentially the best spot to spit, sit. <clears throat> Jeez, can't talk today. The best spot to spit. 
I'm just so funny, aren't I? That's why you guys like me, right? Favorite commentator ever? That's right. You know it. You know it. I'm your bestie, guys. I'm always there for you. But yeah, so here we go. Just doing the flopper strategy. Oh, death machine. See, when you get a death machine... Oh, hey, buddy, you can't get that close. Um, you know, it's going to kill him pretty fast. Um, lighter rounds, these are very helpful. Because it helps you mow down a ton of zombies without using a lot of your ammo. Which is very, very, very helpful. Make sure nobody's behind me here. Just, when you have a death machine, don't get so confident to where these guys are going to hit you in the back and kill you. Because that happened to me yesterday. I was like, oh, yes, death machine. So I just sprinted forward. And I was like, yeah, man, I got this. And then I got hit like four times in the back and almost died. Is that the last guy already? Nope. Oh, thought it was. I don't need to go to the box. Kind of hanging out. Thought I heard a drop or something. Yeah, see the MP5, you know, it's not that powerful. But, hey, I mean, it gets the job done. And you're going to rack up points super fast. Like, I was, I was at 400 when that round was over. Or when the round started, actually. Now I'm at the 30, 400 before I buy the ammo. Let's get the even 3,000. Yes, sir, 3,000. Automatic beast mode number. Nope, nope. You guys don't think it's a beast mode number? Okay, well, I don't care. What to do? I think I got an email or something. I heard my phone go off. But, yeah. Um, I just want to say one thing real quick. I actually... um. Crap, this is what I was going to do. I did this commentary so I could shout this guy out. I'll pick this up. Um, I'm going to link his channel in the description because his name has like I's and X's in him. It's not Dark Knight now, not him. The awesome creator of my new intro. The guy, I've been looking forever for somebody who can make me one. He just, out of the blue, he's like, hey man, you want me to make you one? I was like, yes, dude. So he's kind of like my idol right now. So... From what I remember, I think it's Brown Boy, but I'm gonna link his exact channel name in the description. I want you guys to go check him out. He's beast. I mean, you watch the intro, it's sweet. I'm gonna make sure I put this on all the videos I do now. So, uh, another thing is on that Shiny Noma video, I I watched it back and I realized that some of the like the like the my friends' voices is really hard to hear. Oh, did you see that? It ricocheted down, hit off of his face. And then hit blew him into a crawler. That was awesome. I'm just gonna see if we can get um get um what was I gonna go get? I was gonna go get the box, but yeah. Brown boy, thank you so much for the intro, man. And I'm gonna make sure I get your right name in the description so everybody can check you out. You guys definitely wanna check him out. He's a beast. You a Spectre, but yeah, I'll just go ahead and trade it in for now. I need a new gun. I don't really wanna hold on the MP5 right now. Ah, come on, any Gershes. I don't want this. Yeah, so I'll probably get Teddy Bear now or the next try. Okay, never mind. That's good. I'm locked and loaded. Let's do this, man. Um, I prefer, like, honestly, guys, one tip that I always do in zombies, I always use my worst gun first. And so, like, that means if I have, like, a pistol or a rifle, I'm going to use the pistol first. You know, I always start wasting my worse ammo and work my way up so I'm gonna use my commander here you know it's obviously it's a really good gun zombies but the Galil's better I mean you look at it this has got 300 bullets 30 round clips this I mean doesn't even have full ammo right now 35 round clips and 300 bullets plus right now is that a floating arm? that was weird don't you just love awesome zombie glitches? I think the best glitches that I've seen, like the funniest ones, you got like Modern Warfare 2, you get like the planes in the ground and stuff. That, those are just awesome. But yeah. Um, so, yeah, just kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, I was thanking Brown Boy for the awesome intro because that video is, or that intro is amazing. And I really needed one. You know. It's not necessary to have one, it just makes you look more awesome. But see, with me, that's a hard thing to do because how do you go from amazingly awesome to even more awesome? So that's what Brown Boy did for me with his intro. So thanks, man. Appreciate it. Make sure I get your full name in the description. Man, we're already round 10. See what I mean? You just cruise through these rounds. Oh, it might be monkeys actually.